Everybody starts somewhere and everybody's going somewhere. You ask everybody in there, when are you going to stop lifting? They never know. They can't tell me I'm going to lift, stop lifting tomorrow, next year, or oh, maybe in three months. They don't know. They're just going to keep lifting. It's very easy to see progress. If you put one kilo on your squat for your 1RM, you've made progress. The iron does not discriminate. Powerlifting is broken down into three main lifts. The squat, the bench press, and the deadlift. Lifters will have three attempts at each lift, with the heaviest lift of each movement making up their total. The lifter with the heaviest total in their weight class wins. If a lifter fails all three attempts in a specific lift, they bomb out and are disqualified from the competition. Rich and I um, opened Atlas in August 2008, uh, 14, 2014, and um, so that's three and a half years ago now, and it's just grown from there. We wanted to set up a place that people could focus on strength training as their number one goal. A number of internationals so far, but not worlds yet, um, and that's definitely on the cards next year. I have a number of lifters that are at the top of their game um, in the country um, that would like to go to worlds, and I see that as a regular occurrence every year from next year onwards. Strength is something that everybody um, looks for in, in different things, physically and mentally. Um, it's, it's something that when you're training and you have a purpose and a goal and, and you can see something that's measurable, it's, it's, it's a pretty cool feeling at the, at the end of the day. Well, kind of a powerlifting association's mission, I guess, is to put on well-organised, run, drug-free powerlifting camps. So that's pretty much the underline for what we're here to do, and I guess as the president, that's to make sure that all that stuff works well. I'm Geordie, I'm 28, grew up in Christchurch, New Zealand, lived in Australia for a bit playing league, and I train at Atlas Gym. I trained here for about six months before, before James started coaching me. My lifts were 180 squat, 135 bench, and about 220 deadlift. Jamie King is current national champion and he's a bit ahead of me, so just keep trying to close the gap and then hopefully beat him. People have the opportunity to come in here for a couple hours a day and take their mind off whatever work or home or whatever and just focus on something else and make themselves happy for a couple hours a day. It's pretty good luck. To compete internationally and national champion. You reckon that you can do it? Yeah, I think anything's possible, just keep working hard. easy to see progress. In some way, whether your techniques got better, your muscles have grown, it's equal. It's such an equal playing field for everybody. Um, if, if you've never done training before, you, you know, 20 kilos on the bar is still 20 kilos on the bar. Like, compared to someone that's been training forever and they go and touch the barbell, it's still 20 kilos on the bar. There's, it, there's no discrimination. It's equal playing field. So you can come from any background, any size, any shape, any fitness level. And, the, it's going to be the same for you. Some people are just going to have to take more time than others. And I believe powerlifting is just healthy time. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter if you are big, small. There's a weight category for you. There's male, female. It, there's a weight category for you. It, there is a place for you within powerlifting. The iron does not discriminate. The iron lies to nobody. It is 50 kilos on the bar for somebody is 50 kilos on the bar for somebody else. It's exactly the same. It doesn't, it doesn't lie. It's an never-ending journey, really. You can, I could do this forever.